Good day, CLC family. What a wonderful privilege to spend some time with you today. Remember, we are busy on our journey of 40 days of purpose-driven life. Over the last few days, we spoke about what on earth am I here? And we spoke about worship. And today we're going to continue and I'm going to start the new, the introduction to the new phase of purpose-driven or the, the next element which focus on um, fellowship. Now what is fellowship? Fellowship means that I'm part of a family, that I belong to God's family and we fellowship within this family. We fellowship with God and we fellowship with each other. It's strange to me that a lot of people believe that they can be part of the family of God without fellowship. They believe they can be part of the family of God without going to church. It, it's amazing that people think that it's okay. It's not okay. Because God has created you to become part of his family, not only to become part of his family, but he's also created you to fellowship with each other, to go to church, to meet and to greet and to, the Bible says that's where we learn, that's where we teach, that's where we encourage, that's where we talk to each other, that's where we hug each other and we just become part of the, and we just embrace what God has got in store for us. Over the next few days, we're going to focus on um, you were formed for God's family. We're going to talk about a place to belong. We're going to talk about experience life together. We're going to focus on how to restore broken relationships. And we're going to focus on protecting the church or protecting the family of God or protecting this fellowship that we spoke about. So one of the purposes why God has created you was to become part of his family. And when God refers to you becoming part of his family, he refers to us as children of God. We are God's children. And how do I become part of God's children? The Bible says that if we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, we become part of his family. And that's what the Bible says in Hebrews 2 verse 10. It says, God is the one who made all things. Remember how many times we spoke about God creating all things. Everything got started in God. Now the Bible comes again. It says, God who made all things. And all things are for His glory. So remember what we said. Everything that God has created is for His glory. Remember when we spoke about worship, we said that God has created us to worship Him. We, have cre we are created for God's pleasure. Now the Bible comes again and says that we are created for God's glory. He wanted to have many children to share His glory. Is that not lovely? Is that Nimoyne? God created us to become part of His family. And the Bible says He wants to share His glory with all His children. How do I share the glory of God. How do we become part of the glory of God? How do I experience the glory of God? It's becoming part of his family. Becoming part. Becoming his child. The Bible says in 1 John 3 verse 1. So how many. So how very much our heavenly father loves us. He allows us to be called his children. God loves us. And he allows us to be called his children. And we really are his children. Since you are God's child, everything he has belongs to you. Galatians 4 verse 7 in the New Living Translation. Can I read it again? Since you are God's child, everything he has belongs to you. It's powerful. The moment I'm a child of God, I belong to God. The Bible says that everything, everything that God has belongs to me. His power, 
His glory. I can tap into that. I can tap into His power. I can tap into His glory. I can tap into His anointing. Because I'm a child of God. My God will meet all your needs according to His glory and riches in Jesus Christ. And that's the privilege that I have as a child of God. Uh, my children, when they walk into my house, especially my son Van and Simone, they will come into our house and we've got a special drawer where we keep some sweets and nice stuff in. And it's amazing. Every time they walk in, they walk in and then they'll go to that drawer. Uh, and they will open that drawer and they will take something and they will start eating it. Because they know whatever belongs to me, they can just go to the fridge and they're going to help themselves and they can eat and they can drink. And it's the same when we, when we are children of God. When we are children of God, we have the privilege to walk into the storeroom of God and we can walk to the storeroom and we can take what we need from God because we are God's children. And that's what the Bible says. If our, if our earthly father knows to do good to his earthly child or children, how much our heavenly father? So God has created you to become part of his family. God has created you to tap into this family of God. God has created you to become part of the fellowship together on a Sunday morning or whenever we are together to tap into his riches, to tap into his glory, to tap into his anointing. I want to encourage you. Fellowship. I want to encourage you. Go to church. I want to encourage you. Become part of God's family and tap into what God has in store for you. May God bless you. Amen.